Azolomba do Salfascia has an interesting structure here, and the collagen fibers you can see are linked this way. This is a lateral raphe, and when you tighten the transversus abdominis, what happens is that you bring the tip of the transverse processes closer together. Now Poisson is a French engineer uh, 150 years ago, determined what he called the ratio of how much travel you have here versus how much travel you have here. And the best tissue have a Poisson ratio of one, which is one inch here will generate one inch there. The fascia has a Poisson ratio of one. This is the ultimate in efficiency. And this is an example which I did to show you how contraction of transversus extends the spine. Because what bothered me was when you have a weightlifter, he fires his abdominals. Don't tell me he fires the abdominals to go down. It would make sense. He fires his abdominals because there is a gearbox called the fascia that brings him in reverse. So uh, there is a, a, a benefit to have a tummy. If the internal abdominal pressure is high, the fascia is flat. It has to be flat to be efficient. has to be flat. And you can see here that those fellows are very powerful men. Very powerful men. And they do everything they can to have the maximum power on the fascia. So having a big tummy is not a sign of weakness. And that's one of the benefits of research. <laughs> But we can have the, we can have it, we can have our cake and eat it also. You see, fascia can also flex the spine. When you do curl up, what you do, you lower your abdominal pressure and then you use the fascia to bring you down.